Which grocery store would you rather be stuck in during a snowstorm? Whole Foods or Trader Joe's? Um, we live in Los Angeles. It's a figure of speech. No, it's not. Snowstorm is a... This, this is, is a hot dog, dog is, is a sandwich. sandwich. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. I'm your host, Josh Sher. And I'm your host, Nicole Anaiti. <laughs> Nicole, the asthma breather and I don't have asthma. I literally got my breathing check today, and they're like, your lungs are gorgeous. They said your lungs are gorgeous? That's the creepiest thing a doctor like, could ever say. I have good lungs. I don't That's, have asthma anymore. I Good for you. Suck I it, Trebek. A doctor <laughs> did say something about my... Never mind. It's, I had a hernia, and the surgery is down there, and he like made a comment like, wow, this looks beautiful. And I was like, thanks, doc. Anyways, we're internet <laughs> chefs over at the Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> what are we? What are, we're internet chefs, apparently. Yeah. Over at the Good Mythical Morning and Mythical Kitchen channels. Yes, That's right. Maybe you have heard of them. I don't know, man. <laughs> I Anyways, hope. Uh, we're also here. We're bringing you the internet's biggest food debates, and today we're taking on a real doozy, Nicole. The biggest doozy of them all. The biggest doozy because there are two grocery stores, by my estimation, that have bigger cult followings in America than any other grocery hmm. stores. And we're talking Trader Joe's, uh-huh. and we're talking Whole Foods. Uh, I'm, I think I'm acting like I don't know, but I do know the, the prompt. Yeah, because we talked about talking about this. We <laughs> yes, talked about we talking did. about it before we actually talked sure, about of it. Course, and we, we were do. like, ooh, we know we're going to fall on different sides of the aisle here because I've been vocally not against one of these, but I have personally said that I never personally shop at one of these grocery stores. Hmm, which one is that one? Which which? How about you just say which one you're for? Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Okay. I'm a Ralph's man. I'm a Kroger man. <laughs> Hold on. We've taken Kroger money on on the Mythical Kitchen YouTube channel. We've we done have. some really incredible integrations with Kroger. And the reason I felt comfortable doing that is because I have shopped at Ralph's my entire life. Every single Sunday, I go to Ralph's. However, there's one store, Nicole, However. that when I go to, ooh, I feel like I'm in Disneyland, except I don't really like Disneyland. So, But I feel what people feel when they go to Disneyland. What's that? And that's Whole Foods, man. Really? Oh, it's a nice little treat. When you like feel like spending, I don't think the whole paycheck. <laughs> uh, but for real, I mean, I go there and it, a grocery trip's probably 60% more expensive than when I go to Ralph's. Sure, of co- probably 75. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that is part of it is because their food is just more expensive, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the other part is that I get real excited. Ooh, yeah. I saw a $9 bottle of like Harissa paste and it had real nice branding on it. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to make some... Tunisian inspired food today. And so I, I love Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods because I'm someone when I cook at home, I cook with a lot of fresh produce sure. because we are eating generally a lot of kind of packaged goods here at work, you know. Really horrible. <laughs> and then really when horrible. I go home, I want to have like really dang fresh produce, really good quality meat. Whole Foods sure. has cuts of meat, Nicole, that you can't get anywhere else. You go to Whole Foods, mm-hmm. they sell chicken spines. You know That's that? special. You go there, you can get, get a chicken spine. You're like, I want to make stock, but I don't want to waste the meat. And I don't like when the meat is all just like shreddy and yeah. su- super overcooked in stock. You can just buy the chicken spines. You can get fresh chicken livers. You can get chicken you feet. Can. I guess I'm just impressed that they do a whole chicken. There. Yeah, you can get I oxtail, know. Nicole. You can get skin on pork belly, Nicole. I they know. got three kinds of marinated bacon. I've had blueberry bacon from Whole Foods before. Was it good? No. But their other bacons are pretty good they got fresh sausage and sometimes nicole the butcher man Mm -hmm. who runs the whole foods butcher case Mm -hmm. he'll just make little experimental sausages just because he wants to he'll do a little bourbon sausage in there do a little Mm -hmm. smoked bourbon bratwurst that's a fun time they got lamb (laughs) they got mary's chicken breast i bought a whole goose from whole foods once the shrimp at whole foods allegedly are not caught by slaves most of the time (laughs) look up npr did a really incredible piece on on how most of your shrimp are caught by slaves but the ones at whole foods allegedly are not that's fun you can believe in it also their shrimp tastes better they got black oh. cod, Nicole. They got sable oh, wow, fish. They wow. got. You ever go to their smoked fish section course, in Whole Foods? Of course. Oh my God. Their salmon you. candy. Oh, un- unbelievable. What smoked white fish. Where where else are you get in whole smoked white fish? Costco. When I tried Nicole <laughs> last Christmas, because this is how Julie and I celebrate Christmas. Okay. Now, we made a seafood tower. Yes, I know. We're like we're gonna spend three hundred dollars on our own seafood to make what would be a thousand dollar seafood tower at a restaurant. Okay. And we're just gonna drink throughout the whole day and just eat like kings because we don't have to buy gifts for anyone because we're Jewish and we don't have friends. Okay. And when we tried to get our seafood from a specialty seafood supplier, Santa Monica Seafood Co., uh-huh. they had a line 200 people deep. So what do we do? We went to a Whole Foods and we got the single best Alaskan king crab legs that I've ever had. Whole Foods, it is all in one, you know, your daily market where you can go in and you can buy just a $9 protein bar if you want to. But, Nicole, you can also get $300 for the crab legs and then really regret those choices that you made in life. And that's why I love Whole Foods. That was very nice. 
Did you practice that at all? Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> Did you practice that at all? Or He's is that just jacked stream? now. Is that just stream of consciousness for you? Just stream of consciousness. I was really just, Beautiful. you know, a couple, like two weeks ago, mm-hmm. I um, I was like a little, I, some people complain that I talk about drinking too much, which I don't know, it's just weekends, you know? <laughs> Live a little. <laughs> Live a little, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Don't be puritanical about this. But anyways, I was like a little hungover and I needed a treat to sort okay. of rouse myself out of that hangover. Got it. Uh-huh. And my treat was just doing a full shopping run at Whole Foods. That's wonderful. And it was great. I went to that one in, in West LA off of like Barrington, you know, a small parking lot. A lot of the parking lots are pretty tough. Does it look kind of like post-colonial kind yeah, of? I yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, it's like white. Yeah, it's not one of the new fangled cool Whole, whole Foods not that yet. has like, no, not it's yet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they had to. It's like if you see somebody that has like one of those houses that they like added four different rooms on, yes. and all the rooms are in random parts. Sure, and yeah. you're like, oh, this is the baby's room and art studio, and it's just like in the backyard. And that's you're like, horrible. Do not put your art studio with your baby's room. The fumes <laughs> will know, be bad like, for the baby. <laughs> but that's what this Whole Foods like. It's like you walk in and you have to like walk through the bakery, and the cashier's just in the center of it. I've never because, been to that one because Whole Foods used to be a really small uh, chain of health food stores. It was sure. very niche. Yeah. And then especially after the Amazon acquisition just blew up. But but, but tell me about why I'm wrong. Well, do you know how you said when you walk into Whole Foods, it's like Disneyland for you? Yeah. When I walk into Trader Joe's, I'm at my funky Grandma Carol's house, <laughs> which I never had. So um, when I walk into uh, Trader Joe's, I live very close to Trader Joe's, mm-hmm. and it's very convenient for me. So whenever I'm you know, coming home from work, I just do a little detour, and I just go into the parking lot, and I see the beautiful graphic signs, the beautiful signage that is just so inviting. And I'm like, all right. This is comfort. I just walk in and I'm like, this is comfort. The first thing you see, beautiful plants. Just the most beautiful plants you've ever seen. And you're like, I can be a plant parent. If they can do this at Trader Joe's, I can do this in my own home. They have the most stunning bouquets just hanging out. They have flowers that I've never seen before. Maybe at Bristol Farms, but who has Bristol Farms money? So I'm just going through Trader Joe's. Bristol Farms has a poke bar. I like that. I went today, actually. I went today, actually, and I had a poke bar. Ahead of their time. (laughs) Yeah. But besides that, um, when I walk into Trader Joe's, I feel very comfortable. And I and I know that what I'm getting, what I pay for, which is very nice, and what I pay for is reasonable in comparison to Lassen's and Whole Foods and what what is that really fancy one? Air One. I mean, nah, when you one. think about when you think about those grocery stores, and there's twenty six dollar water bottles, and an avocado can be three dollars. I mean, it's just not sustainable for my personal lifestyle. And you know, I want to buy a house one day, <laughs> and I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to save money where I can. And if that means you know, I'm gonna buy some apples that might not be the most incredible apples I've ever had in my damn life. They're going to be good apples. And I'm going to buy those apples. I'm going to put them in my car and I'm going to give them to me and my husband in the mornings. I'm going to juice them with some celery. And that's all that matters. When I walk into Trader Joe's, when I go through the frozen food section, I don't feel bad because I see all the things there and I'm like, hmm, cauliflower. Okay. String beans. All right. Ooh, is that zigzag butternut squash? (laughs) Sign me up. So I do, I do think that Trader Joe's, I don't know when I just walk into Trader Joe's, I just feel really comfortable. And the way that the, sh- the shelves are all designed. Mm-hmm. I just think it's beautifully organized. They're really smart. Yes. Trader Joe's is an incredible like uh, exercise in understanding what people actually want and what yeah. people actually buy. Sure. There, there's a crazy stat, not to cut you off, but Go there's ahead. a crazy it's stat okay. that uh, Trader Joe's stocks something like 15% the products that a mass market grocery store stocks? Yes, that's true. I think whenever I was doing my research, it said about 80% of their stuff is all their own private label. And I think that's cool. Is it? Oh, the, the private label stuff weirds me out. Why? The pri- Okay, so one, <laughs> I, I give Trader Joe's massive props. I do not ever shop there. I went there once in the past year uh, mm. solely because I love to cook at home and I don't need like frozen convenience meals like sure. I would rather and you've seen me do this just like scramble two eggs and grab a fistful of ham and put a handful of spinach in there and call that a cheap easy yeah easy it'll meal. work as opposed to like uh you know microwaving Trader Joe's chicken soup dumplings that yeah. are going to be 75 percent as good as an actual soup dumpling but sure. to me it's going to not satisfy my actual hunger craving yeah. at all because I'd rather just have a great soup dumpling yeah but that said, they're incredibly smart about what products they choose to feature. Of course. And they are always, I'd say ahead of the cultural moment, but what they are is they're more ahead of the cultural moment mm-hmm. than other mass market grocery stores. Like, and, and yeah, a lot of people talk about cultural appropriation with this. And <laughs> I know Trader Joe's, they called, oh, the Italian stuff is called Trader Joe's. I have the whole list. Would you like me to Read sound off? The off? So, okay. Yeah. The Mexican food is Trader Jose's. Yeah. Baker Joseph's is the flour and bagels. Trader Giotto's is the 
Italian food. Giotto. Giotto's. Trader, <laughs> Trader Joe-san's is Japanese that food. That one just sounds racist. Tra- that, like Trader Joe-san? Come on. Trader Ming's is just Asian food. I've seen this list, but what is Asian? Is Japanese food not Asian food? I don't know. I, I know, guess it's, it's anything tough. other than Japanese. Yeah. Um... Jo- Joseph's Brow is beer, and Trader Jacques is French food and soaps. Yeah, the the Trader Joe's, <laughs> it's so weird because they're both like ahead of the times and behind the times constantly. Ah. But they were the first. They were the first that I saw like have their own private label Sichuan Chili Crisp, right? Which is good. I use it. I bought it like four times. It's it's a staple in my house. Everything, I always have it. Everything bagel seasoning. Have it in my house. Right, incredible. Uh, what what do they have? Um, cauliflower gnocchi. Cauliflower gnocchi. Got stacks of them, mofo. <laughs> That's big. Uh, but the origin of Trader Joe's is really fascinating to me because I didn't realize that it was a pun on like Trader Vic's. Trader Vic's, which was the, a restaurant. Yeah, the legendary yeah. tiki bar. Yeah, right. That invented a lot of modern tiki cocktails. That's right. And so, literally, the origin of Trader Joe's was like we are trying to take this tiki aesthetic that was all post World War II boom, right mm-hmm. after the annexation of Hawaii and and statehood. And all that. And they were like, we have a more educated workforce coming back off the GI Bill. People are more traveled now on account of the war. (laughs) And so we want to sort of bring them more worldly uh, grocery items that they couldn't get in a mass market store. Kind of cool. Which is very, very cool. And as much as if anybody wants to flame them for cultural appropriation stuff, they have. Flame them. Flame them. Flame away. I got no problem with that. I have no problem with, with admitting the fact that Trader Joe's doing that is wrong. I will admit that. But I love their products and I love what they do aside from that. They make some great products. Yeah. But the interesting thing, so the fact that you said 80% of all of Trader Joe's foods are like their own private label. Yeah. They, any distributor they work with. So what happens, right? You go into a Trader Joe's and you say want to buy their chocolate covered peanut butter pretzel nuggets, mm-hmm. which are delightful. They're great. <laughs> um, Trader Joe's, the grocery store, does, which it's owned by Aldi now, right? Mm-hmm. They don't necessarily own a pretzel making factory and a peanut butter making factory and a chocolate making factory. And they certainly don't own a chocolate peanut butter pretzel making factory. What they do is they go to a company that owns a big factory, could be ConAgra, which is this massive, massive food, you know, conglomerate, yeah. uh, could be ConAgra. And they go, hey, we want to put our own label and our own bag on this product. We'll yeah. test it and make sure it's quality enough for our stores. And then you, factory, can tell nobody. Like, they are under contract to not tell anybody where their food comes from. That's, like, what everybody does. <laughs> it's what everybody does. That's but what to everybody me, does. I know. That. Costco famously does it as well. Of like everybody knows their, what the Kirkland brand Kirkland? vodka is. You don't think 365 Vegas. does that? I don't know if 365 does. I mean, everybody, <laughs> right? Like, they're not all owning their own means of production have and whatnot. You but 365, seen the, girl, have you all their seen milk, the All their shelf? milk comes from, I'm ta- I have the floor I'm talking about milk. <laughs> Can a man talk about milk? All their milk <laughs> yeah. comes from family farms. You might wonder who owns a farm if not a family, right? Anyways, okay. it's like when places say farm fresh produce. It's like, where else did you think it came from? We're going to inform you all produce is indeed grown on a farm. <laughs> uh, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm just confused why you're so mad at the fact that Trader Joe's does what everyone else says. You're just calling Trader Joe's out. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I'm mad problem? about it. What's the problem? Because people think that, oh, this is going to get in a whole wormhole. Oh, here we go. Josh acting all crazy. People <laughs> think that Trader Joe's is like healthier and better for you. I... And they feel better about buying Trader Joe's than they do a mass market brand like, say, Kellogg's. I don't agree that it is better for you. But I think you feel better buying it because you think it's independent as opposed to buying no. a major brand. I think you do. I don't. I I, I, don't. Think do. I think, Nicole, when you, I walk, live next when to you walk into Trader Joe's, you feel better about your choices because when you when people come visit you in your home and they see a bag of Trader Joe's pretzels, they're going to think you have a higher status than if you bought rolled gold. That's not true at all. Why would you say rolled gold? I don't know, man. <laughs> I kind of forgot it. about rolled gold. Yeah, pretty good. They're, uh, Snyder, yeah, yeah, Snyder's, the Snyder's are Snyder's have better flavored. The they have the good little nuggets yeah. that are yeah. flavored. Yeah, like, I like the rods. Yeah. I mean, good fat Oh, rod. I like gold. What is it? Roll rolled gold? Rolled is it Rolls Golds? I like Roll Gold Rods. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> they got good regular pretzels, yeah, but thin. okay. Oh, they do the bu- the fake butter flavored ones. So Ew, I don't like that. Yeah. I like the the regular Rolls Gold sticks. I'm all about, but the flavored <laughs> Snyder sign me up. What I'm trying to say is, I don't agree with you. I don't need to virtue signal with my <laughs> chip bags, Josh. I live in close prox. I go to 
Whole Foods too. I love walking through a Whole Foods. Mm. My dream one day is to be a mom and to have two kids right in the front <laughs> with a beautiful bouquet of flowers, okay? They're also going to be twins. I'm rolling through the Whole Foods and I'm going everywhere. I'm buying mother freaking echinacea pills. I'm getting elderberry syrup. I'm buying three bottles of kombucha. I'm buying it all. I'm buying parsley that's two seventy nine just because it's organic and I don't care. That's my dream. Railing lines of ashwagandha in the bathroom it's with crazy. all the employees. Yeah, and then and named then, like Ryder. And then you see a girl you knew from high school, and you're like, you know what I mean? Like that's the dream. I What's get up, that. Meadow? Yeah, I didn't go to school with anyone named Meadow. That makes sense. That's a weird name, but uh. I, I just, it's just at this point of my life, Trader Joe's does what it has to for my lifestyle. I have a kosher kitchen. You know this. I go to Trader Joe's yeah. has kosher meat. It's incredible. I, I ate a cheesesteak inside <laughs> your home less than two weeks ago. Josh, shut up. <laughs> Hold on. No, I know. But no, no let's see. We I'm have rules. Gonna... Okay. You want to know what my rules are? Yeah, what's your are? rule? What's your rule? Okay. I'm allowed to... Give people food. I can't cook it myself. I can put it on a paper plate yeah. and serve it to and use uh, <laughs> plastic forks and spoons. We did use plastic forks in, on a paper plate. Yes, That's correct. Yeah. but um, like my own home things cannot touch it. I took home a sack of meat the other day and I couldn't heat it up on a pot, so I had to microwave it. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. I know it no, is. No, it's your culture it, and it's, it's beautiful. It's absurd and I know it, but you have to make loopholes for your for the a modern age you live in. And this is my loophole. Like whatever, I have to do what I have to do, but I still have to buy kosher meat in the house and I have to cook it. That means I don't have to go to a damn, I don't have to go to Pico have you ever driven down Pico and Robertson? Don't don't you don't you put this don't you put Pico have Robertson? You, have you ever driven? Yes, I've driven down Pico, Pico Robertson. Live very close to Pico it Robertson. It is so stressful. Let's get into our to, to our local LA okay. street street it is, politics. Okay, it is so stressful for me to go to one grocery store and then have to go to another grocery store to buy things from that grocery store that I can't buy from this grocery store. It's a tough area to drive. Trader this is jo- where all the kosher markets and grocery Trader stores are in LA. Joe's to be clear. is my one stop shop. And it does the damn thing for me. Where do you go to the and one by the CVS? I can't tell you. The listeners will know. <laughs> it is. I love Whole Foods, but yeah. at this point in my life, going to Whole Foods as a regular grocery store is not in the picture for me. It's just not. It doesn't make sense for me. And it doesn't it make sense, sense to Listen. a lot of people. People don't have the financial capacity to pay, oh to my pay God, that don't, way. No, don't paint me as this. Mom. I'm not saying you should get all your groceries organic from Whole Foods. I'm saying personally <laughs> that I find it a better shopping experience that more fits my life. And again, I do not I shop disagree. there. I disagree. I do not shop there. You don't shop there? I don't know. I don't so shop there. I don't shop there. It? It's like a daily lifestyle. I shop there as a treat. Then why are you? I shop there as a treat. Then why are you defending you know, it so much? Job. It's like how I love. You go to the grocery store as a treat? What's an expensive brand that I love? Because I don't Wear anything. Nothing. I know. It's like, oh, I, I love. Go, uh, are your glasses Warby Parker? Yeah. Well, are like they? Ray-Ban, yeah. I don't think I love any expensive brands. But what I was trying to say is there's expensive brands that, like, I can say like, they're nice, but I don't yeah. wear them every day. I don't drive an expensive car. You know, do I think Audi looks cool? Yeah. You know, I think Audi looks cooler than like a Tesla. I see someone in a Tesla and I just immediately think I have wouldn't you like ever, you as a person. Have you ever test driven you know? either of those cars? No, neither. Okay, so who are but you I can still have preferences. I can still have preferences. You can have your preferences. Have preferences because but you I, can't sit on a podcast. No, because somebody on in a Tesla cuts me off every single, without question, I drive 20 miles to work across LA freeways. You are going to get cut off by a Tesla. Within like three years, Tesla drivers overtook BMW drivers. They're going to be the Prius by drivers. Far, yeah. By far the biggest a-holes on the road. Oh, you think BMW drivers are worse? They used to be. No, 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 it was always Prius. It was always Prius drivers. No, the worst. Prius drivers are the worst in a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's parking lot. That's no, where we the parking come lots. The parking lots in both of those places Nightmares. need to be obliterated. <laughs> Nightmares. They shouldn't exist. The parking lots just need to be a continuation of the store and tell everyone to get street parking. That's it. If I am spending three hundred dollars for a week's worth of groceries at Whole Foods, you should send an Uber. That is crazy. You should send an Uber black car. That is crazy. Me, oh, dude. Okay, wait. Three hundred dollars oh. a week if you're shopping at Whole Foods. I spent. $300 last time I went to Whole Foods and I'll tell you what happened so That's I accidentally not sustainable. bought okay no and I don't do it listen you said a treat I'm a you're bad going, person you were going I'm back on person. what you said you said oh no, I don't think it was a treat and now you're spending $300 no, a week you a, lied I went you for lied. a weekly Nicole can we calm down yes, I feel right. like we got here on a level and now we need to get here and yeah. I need you to understand where I'm coming from I, I went do you as a hands? weekly treat <laughs> I don't know it doesn't seem like it's in the cards to me right now. Uh, <laughs> I went as a weekly treat. I was like, I want to do all my grocery shopping here because I had something very specific uh-huh. I wanted to make, right? I was okay. making like a very kind of Spanish, like gambas al ajillo kind of thing. I love gambas. I want a shrimp with garlic and I want a good quality garlic. I want good quality shrimp. Uh-huh. I made a romesco sauce. I want to make sure those peppers were firing. I want to make sure everything was good. I wanted a $9 bottle of sherry vinegar. 
I wanted Marcona almonds. I was going to make myself something nice instead of going out you know and who spending has $95. Almonds? You know who has Marcona Don't almonds? Don't tell me Trader Joe's Mar- Marcona almonds. Everywhere has Marcona Not almonds. Not everywhere has Marcona. Get yeah. out of here. You Have can't you, get Marcona I got Marcona everywhere. almonds get from, from I got Marcona almonds. <laughs> Are you Dennis now from It's Always Sunny? (laughs) You can get Marcona almonds from Ralph's. I've gotten them before more than once. You can get them from Pavilions. You can get them from anywhere. You just like to shop at Whole Foods because you feel you feel better than everyone when you go. You feel good about yourself. You feel better than the population when you go there. Yeah, you're like oh the produce. It's so bright. Oh, they got black radishes there. Can I tell you something? You know who cooks with black radishes? Zero people. I hate black radishes. They are throwing away every single black radish in that freaking store. I'm the only person who's ever bought a black radish from Whole Foods and you know what I did with it? I Nothing. threw it away <laughs> because black radishes are terrible. They, they don't are do borderline inedible. You, I yeah. tried boiling them. I tried roasting them. I tried pickling them. Uh, every bad. single thing. Terrible. Yeah, I found out if you grate it raw and treat it like grated daikon in Japanese food, it's I like don't need fine. that. I'd just rather then buy the daikon. get a damn daikon. Yeah, I'd rather just go get a daikon. Um, where were we? <laughs> oh, so wait, this one time at Whole Foods, the only oh. time I've been so incensed at a price that I straight up was like, I'm putting this back. Was I got a bag of grapes and I thought it was like a four dollar bag of grapes, and then I I rang it up and they were like, "That's a twenty one dollar bag of grapes." <gasps> it was like a four pound bag of grapes, but it, it must have said like my mom would throw. It must have said like four ninety nine per pound. I didn't realize that I had a big old stack of grapes, and but I could I would probably eat that today because um, I eat like Paul Bunyan. Just <laughs> like eating grapes. What is with you and grapes right now? <laughs> I love every grapes, podcast man. we've talked about this year in twenty twenty. We've talked about grapes. Like, I love ice cold nauseam. grapes. I like to watch my Netflix while eating just ice cold grapes. They're refreshing. It's like it's hydrating you at the same time. They're sweet. I don't know if to tell you. I love grapes. Uh, anyways, and I was just like, I will not stand for this. I was misled, and I and I brought him back. Good. Okay. That's so. See, I'm learning to stand up for myself. That's really um, important. I yeah. like that. I'm glad. But I will say, Trader Joe's has better snacks than Whole Foods. Trader Joe's has hmm, better okay, snacks. Well, oh, I got puffed lotus seed snacks Ugh. at Whole Foods. Get wrecked. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, that's right. That it's called Asha abs- Pop, and it was like uh, oh. cacao and like. I don't know, black cardamom flavor I got or something. Ch- I got chocolate covered but uh uh peanut butter crisps and they were really good. I don't That's think it's that Whole like. Foods makes me That's feel better like. than people, but not going to Trader Joe's does make oh, me feel better oh, than people. We forgot to mention the way you're treated at a Whole Foods versus the way you're treated at Trader Joe's. At Whole Foods, they're like, Toy, you come into my space, toy, toy. I disagree. I disagree. I have gotten nothing. One, at Josh. Trader Joe's, they are trying to seduce you. Oh Every God. single employee at Trader Joe's, yeah. it is just one big bisexual, you know, fest in there. I don't care. And I don't it's great. It's kind of awesome. I, I feel the energy. No, I love the Hawaiian shirts. I love the Hawaiian shirts are so bisexual. Half of our I love is it. bisexual. And, but when you're buying like a spicy tahini wrap and someone just goes like oh that's a great choice yeah you're gonna have such a good time with that spicy tahini wrap you know like i i it's I, you know i don't know if i need that energy that happens to you when you go to trader i'm joe's. just trying to buy a tahini wrap okay <laughs> when you go to trader joe's they do that to you and i don't care if my outfit is distracting to you josh answer the question uh, no i don't actually but people have made a lot of jokes about the sexual tension with trader joe's employees i don't feel any i don't feel any at all <laughs> <laughs> I feel so comfortable. Maggie, am I crazy? I f- do you know what I'm talking about? I feel like they're all my friends. I'm like, I'm like, where do I get this validated? And they're like, come follow me. I'll show you where it is. La, 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 they're like, la. And then they're you're like, so beautiful. Ha, just kidding. Not that kind like of validation. Like the other, <laughs> the other day, like I was looking at the cards and they had really cute Valentine's Day cards. And then the cashier goes, oh, those cards are so cheesy. I love them. And then I pick up one with pizza and I go, this one's the cheesiest one. Right? And then we just started laughing. That's sexual tension, Nicole. You just don't <laughs> notice it? it. Was it? Absolutely. Are you oh. kidding? You're like laughing about Valentine's oh. Day cards and cheesy? <laughs> No, That's how you're just acting it. all coquettish, just like oh. Oh, I thought we were just being friends. No, absolutely not. No, no, no. They're they're trying to seduce you into upcharging you for like a more expensive. <laughs> I don't know, like your, they can't upcharge six dollar Portuguese they, wine. They can't upcharge. I'm at the cash wrap. They're just nice people there. I bet you they're bought. Just, a, I bet you grabbed a thing of mints off it. You're like, no, I didn't. No, money. I didn't. Ooh, I never do money. that. You know, I am never seduced by that little. <laughs> I'm never seduced by the the candies, and I'm never seduced by the gums. You want to know why? Because I got enough of that at home. Because I have a shopping list, and I adhere to it very strictly, very strictly. You should see me at the grocery store. I'm like, bim, bam, boom. Oh, it's I'm incredible. Always, I'm, I've I've <laughs> wasted thousands of dollars on four dollar kombucha at the cash register. No. I don't. That's my I never do that. Retirement plan done because of that. Nope. I. I. You should see me sometimes. I'm going to tell you something, and you're not going to like this about me. If there's ever f- like free herbs, you know what I do? <laughs> what I do take like, free herbs? like 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 that are not packaged, like herbs that are just free 
Oh, like but you know they're not free to <laughs> buy. Like they're you have to pay money for. No, those when herbs. I say free, I mean like unpacked loose, herbs. loose herbs, like loose, a Lucy sorry, cigarette. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I say like a like a like a parsley bunch, yeah, I and I want a cilantro bunch, but I just want a little bit of cilantro. <laughs> I take like two pieces. Oh yeah, you love Trader Joe's so much that you just shoplift from it. Trader Joe's Trader Joe's packages are mostly packaged, so I can't do oh, that. Oh, so you so you. Like so Trader Joe's places. because of their anti-theft devices, because you can't just steal from them? <laughs> yes. Is that what we're talking about? It makes me feel more structured. I'm not as crazy when I go into Trader <laughs> When I go into Trader Joe's, I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm getting. I'm in and I'm out. I'm done. When I go to Whole Foods, I want to be there for hours and just buy everything. But my lifestyle does not allow for that. And I don't allow myself to be put in those situations. Josh. Trader Joe's employees are smug. Because they tell them, because this is how okay, you know. Okay, you don't think they Whole tell Foods, them, have you no, ever gotten Whole a Foods. bottle of medication from Whole Foods? No, because I don't oh, take medicine. Oh my God. I'm a Church of Jesus Christ scientist believer. Josh. Mary Baker Eddy, Jesus heals all that ails you. May, okay, may I, I say I don't buy one, medicine. May, may I say I, one I, thing? I do CrossFit, and I don't need I medicine. May I say one thing? Go ahead. I go and I'm like, oh, I'm feeling low energy. My doctor t- told me to take vitamin D pills, okay? And then they're like, vitamin D <laughs> Vitamin D's. Whole Foods. They go, they go, uh, you vitamin D won't do anything for you. And then they give me like 12 supplements. They're like, here okay. you go. And I'm like, no, I can't do that, Greg. I can't do that. I don't have the financials for that, Greg. They always want to upsell I you stay, at Whole Foods. I stay out of that section. I don't know what section you're going to. I, I, well, you I never, know the section. It's in the middle go. of the store. And I've never, wa- I've wandered into that section once looking for like, uh, like, Soy lecithin or something because uh-huh. I wanted it for cooking. Okay, and then they were weird, and I just wandered out. So, so yeah, I, I ignore I ignore that part of so the store. Weird. It creeps me out. Yeah, that part of the store bad, but that part of the store doesn't even exist in a Trader Joe's. That's fair. They have the like one little thing of like soaps that don't work. Yeah, <laughs> I don't go there. I, I actually bought their retinol night cream, and I'm really excited to use it. So Trader Joe's employees are tra- they're literally trained at the cash register to go like, oh, I love that thing. That's a great choice, right? I don't know. That's the thing. That's why they do it Are all the time. Are you sure? Do, do you have their you training they ring manual the bell. anywhere? No, I don't have the training What's manual. What's the they bell ring about? The bell. Tell me what the... I, know, I don't know There's what the only one are. Trader Joe's in America that does not have a bell, and it's in Toluca Lake, which is close to Burbank, uh, and they don't have a bell because they're so close to a neighborhood that the old rich NIMBYs the not in my backyard uh-huh. folks uh, complained that the Trader Joe's bell was too loud, which I just what think is the, a hilarious What do the bells aside. mean? They have a featured item. They're like, oh, our uh, butternut squash pasta sauce is this month's I featured item. And that. anytime <laughs> people buy the butternut squash pasta sauce, they go, hey, and they ring a bell and everyone goes, hey, it's like you're my best friend and we're all at the Chili's watching the game together. At Whole Foods, they're like, you mean to tell me you didn't buy the organic sarsaparilla? Uh, no, I never get <laughs> that. horrible. One, they don't yes, sell sarsaparilla. They if they do. sold organic sarsaparilla root, I would, it wouldn't sprout sarsaparilla and I would oh. buy it <laughs> if they had it there. But no, sometimes they get burdock root, Nicole. You got a problem with that? I have a problem with you. I right will. Now, I have a huge problem with you because you are not acknowledging the fact that Trader Joe's does good work and it makes people feel good in like a suburban area where there's so much noise and there's so much human and there's so much sidewalk. All you want to do is just go in somewhere that makes you feel good. They wear Hawaiian shirts. They're cute. They're nice. The signs are nicely drawn on. You buy peanut butter. You buy jam. You buy some fideo for some reason. They just have it there. And you just have yeah. a good time. I like the little bags Joe's. of farro. Yeah, the ten minute like farro. Bags of farro. The That's ten minute stuff. farro. Yeah, it's, I have three bags of that. You don't have home. to boil it for forty minutes. Let and, me tell you. and it's in such a small bag oh. that you don't have to buy oh. it in bulk. You can just say like, "Hey, I've never Turn really on the tr- air conditioner. I've never really tried farro before, and I really want to see what this is all about. Like, you know, maybe ooh, maybe they have a little bag of free can next, and you don't have to. It's like it's two dollars, so it's not a big investment. That's right. But the thing is, at, at Trader Joe's, the employees are trained to tell you they love stuff. And I remember That's this fine. one time I like went and I bought food, and you could tell the employee was new, and they forgot to compliment something. And then the last thing I was buying were just oranges, and they just went, "Oh, I love orange," and I was like, All "Okay." Right. And they're like, "Yeah, okay." And that was it. But at Whole Foods, this is the thing that I love. Whole Foods is an indulgence for me, and that's what I love about it. But I feel like the people who work at Whole Foods, especially at like the butcher counter and in the produce department, which are the places where I'm spending ninety percent of my time, I'm not getting vitamin D pills. I'm not buying snacks because I just eat gigantic meals and all I snack on are grapes. Apparently, uh-huh. grapes and beef jerky. Mm-hmm. But I go to Whole Foods and like I will buy a cut of meat and the butcher will very earnestly Nicole they care they'll go they don't care hey what are you making I think they care I can sense when they care I've been to the I've been to that counter the exact counter you're talking about and I have no. been I have been Oscar disres- cares I have been disrespected I have been I have been ignored because well, Oscar could been- tell that you didn't like Whole Foods <laughs> I have been, you didn't I've, been treated, the I've been treated poorly and no I disagree with you I think the customer service at Trader Joe's is better than Whole Foods but I will still go to Whole Foods sometimes and I think that's the most important thing 
I go sometimes. Trader Joe's has these cashews. Yeah, they're so, oh, good. so good. The roasted ones. The roasted, yeah. yeah, yeah. With the, what they do, it's like a Thai green yeah. curry. Oh my gosh, yeah. Those the are lime my leaf favorite. on it. I actually do the Damn, almond ones really because good. I think the almond works better than the cashew. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, uh, I actually, okay, okay. In summation, in summation, yes. in summation. Whole Foods to me is an absolute guilty pleasure. And I think it's yes. generally probably bad forces. I know I, what they're trying to do is like a good thing, right? More, better produce, organic for the people. They started Whole Foods 365 markets, which they promised were going into low income areas and they're going to end food deserts and mm-hmm. bring produce to people. Mm-hmm. And boy, do I not trust Jeffrey Bezos to fulfill that message, nor do I trust, uh, what's the name, John Mackey or something, the founder of Whole Foods, to actually do that. So I don't think there's like merit in Whole Foods. I do wish people had access to better produce. I do. Whole too. Foods is the doing the opposite of that. They're just running in and everything's expensive as all hell. Um, Trader Joe's, I do think, does a really good job of curating their products and also making really convenient products for people to eat on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. Personally, it doesn't fit my lifestyle for weekly grocery shopping. Shout out Ralph's. You just it's it's great products at a great yeah. price point. And I'm in, I'm in, I'm out. I and like I'm in there 30 minutes. I do a full week's worth of grocery shopping. No dilly dallying. I know what I want. I'm there. So um, you're Team Ralph's? I'm Team Ralph's I'm ultimately. Team Pavilions. Of course. Well, we gotta do this again. Oh, shout out to Bob at Pavilions. Pleased to announce that we're dropping some new content over at the Mythical Kitchen channel. Heck yeah, we are. We're calling it Aprons Off. Our chance to stop cooking and just hang out. We'll be swapping stories, giving advice, tasting foods we've never tried, and tons more. That's right, Josh. The first episode airs on March 10th, and we're ranking our school lunches from childhood. Josh's lunch will make you feel some kind of way. (laughs) It is depressing, Nicole. Anyways, come support our new stuff. Uh, It's airing every Friday on the Mythical Kitchen channel. We're really excited about it. We worked really hard. Yeah, see you there. All right, Nicole. We've heard what you and I have to say. Now it's time to find out what other wacky videos are out of there. It's time for saying that we go. Opinions are like casserole. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, well, what was All right, on? Nicole. Mm-hmm. All right. I think you were trying to make me laugh, and it worked. Uh, yeah, I was. You don't. You didn't laugh as heartily as you normally laugh, though. I kind of <laughs> lost my touch. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody is on their A game all the time. I'm rocking at like a beep, like an 87 average right That's now. That's generous. Teetering from a B to a B plus. My nephew told me he gets B's in school and he's 12 and I said, you better get A's. Why? Why put that pressure he's on him? Like, he's 12. He's like, he's like, sixth grade is really hard, but seventh and eighth grade would be so easy. And I'm like, if you don't get at least one A... You're in now, uh, grades are utterly useless. I can't wait for our like uh, post institutional education society he where we're just like, listen, you either learn how to use a lathe or you don't. <laughs> and that's it. Who's a lathe? Down with all kings except King Lud. Who's a lathe? Lathe. A lathe. Are you lathed? <laughs> no, a lathe is what you use to. It was, there was, a lathe was initially <laughs> what you used to sew, uh, but now it's used in a lot of metal work. It's like a spinning. I... Anyways, uh, yeah, look at like, a, a lathe. Looks like a cotton gin! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anyways, anyways, you Sorry. ready, Nicole? You ready to get into some opinions? So ready. Hi, Josh and Nicole. Hi. My name is Kim, and this unpopular opinion is actually from my three-year-old daughter, Erin. Oh, I love oh. Which I think it's mostly your fault, Josh. I accept. We watch the Hustle Kitchen and listen to the podcast quite often, and every time you say hot mayonnaise, <laughs> yes. it's probably way more than you think. She I know exactly how much. It's the funniest thing to her. But <laughs> so now cute. she has this thing where she will just eat a mayonnaise sandwich. Yes. Just mayo on bread. No meat, no cheese. You're welcome for that. Or one. anything. Um, yeah, so I blame you, Josh. Uh-huh. But she's still cute anyway. You want to say hi, Erin? <gasps> say hi. Um, say hi, hey. Josh and Nicole. <laughs> You give us. Hey, hi, Dash and Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say hi. No. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, well, you can't train kids like you used to. Oh. Um, I will pay for your child's first therapy session. No. Uh, I'll Venmo you. What did it cost? Ten bucks? No. Did it twenty? No. What? That's really cute. I'll pay for twenty dollars your child's first therapy session for any way that my videos have messed them up. I think it's fair. I knew a girl who ate mayonnaise sandwiches in school. I knew a boy who she ate mayonnaise sandwiches. His you. name is me. <laughs> you? I love. No, I'll, me. I'll, Get it? Uh, I drink a lot of sparkling <laughs> water. I'm so sorry. Stop. 
Stop. I didn't mean to. Don't do that anymore. I know. I'm a role model for the kids. Yeah. I know. Uh, mayonnaise is a better condiment on bread than butter. I've said that. Oh, I've ew. Oh, ew. Time. Ah, Why ew. you? Why you? It's just I egg love and butter oil. Because butter tastes better than mayonnaise. But then, well, why you? Why you on mayonnaise? Why is everyone all you on mayonnaise? And no, <laughs> nobody is you on butter. Butter has like the same pus-like consistency. It's not like, pussy. Is... It's not pussy. How it's do you spell bu- pussy? <laughs> P-U-S-Y. <laughs> Pusey? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you... P-U-S slash E-Y? I don't think that's just... P-U-S-Z-I-E? <laughs> uh, that's the Polish last name, I think. Pusie. <laughs> Hello, my name is Magram Pusie. <laughs> Strongest man in all of Poland. Um, I'd love, man, I, I love you, but give me a nice toasted piece of bread, some mayonnaise spread on it, maybe like a bit of olive tapenade, and that's a great sandwich. Mayonnaise, versatile, you can eat it by itself, you can put it on things. Your baby's living. Babies deserve access to mayonnaise. That's the political platform that I'm running on. More mayonnaise for babies. Don't use the term baby mayonnaise, though, because that means something else. Don't say that one. That is stupid. You're a stupid man. All right, next one. <laughs> Hi, love the podcast. Um, Thanks, man. Just wanted to say that Starburst is basically better Laffy Taffy. Yeah, yeah, correct. And if you don't agree, I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I'm a pacifist. I'm going to throw those out there, though. What? Laffy Taffy is mm-hmm. just taffy that comes with jokes. Girl, shake that laugh. Oh, I can't sing. Girl, Say shake it. that laffy taffy. Yeah. That laffy taffy. Nicole, I will shake that, that laffy taffy. taffy. That laffy taffy. Yeah, Girl, will, shake that. And I'll do it. Laffy taffy. Uh, Nicole, I will shake that the laffy, laffy taffy. taffy. That laffy taffy. I don't like laffy taffies very much. I do love Starburst. It's like Laffy Taffy plus citric acid equals Starburst. There's a lot of citric acid in Laffy Taffy. If you get the, the grape Laffy Taffy, a lot of citric I acid. I hate grape Laffy Taffy. Uh, I like banana Laffy Taffy. That's a hot take that I also love because I love artificial banana flavor because it tastes like the smell of gasoline. I love the way fake banana tastes. Same. Banana runs, banana Laffy Taffies, all about it. Banana um, runs. Oh, so when he says Starburst serves better Laffy Taffies, what he's saying is Starburst is a taffy because... The Laffy and Laffy Taffy Nicole is that they write jokes <laughs> on the inside Would of the Would you like me to, to speak it again? Uh, no, no, no. Please don't. Mr. Bubblegum. Do oh, Mr. Chico to. Stick. I want a da na because you're so thick. <laughs> that, those are the lyrics? Yeah. Girls call, uh, girls call me Jolly Rancher because I stay so. What? What's the for word? For a long time. Oh, my God. You don't know oh the lyrics my God. to Laffy no, Taffy? No, I just don't shake that. I just don't shake that Laffy Taffy. <laughs> you don't know the Taffy. lyrics And to I Laffy mumble Taffy? along to the rest. I just didn't know. I know that song by heart. I know all the lyrics to that song. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Laffy Taffy, <laughs> or, uh, Starburst is even wrapped in paper, which is like, you know, historically part of Taffy. So, yeah, they're they're pretty naked about their ambitions. But Starburst has somehow become a very modern candy. Whereas Citric acid. Citric acid. It's citric acid. Kids love it. Kids love Red it. Red dye number 40 makes them hyperactive like the beta fish. They fight. next opinion hi josh and nicole this is sammy from michigan i was just calling to let you know that i think that the best way to eat a grilled cheese sandwich is um, just using sharp white cheddar and slicing up green olives and putting it inside Mm. all right bye that's not the best way but it's a very very good way this is a person that could share an entire pickle plate with you yeah, and I you like You go to that. a restaurant yeah. and they'd be like, hey, this they got What's a, a pickle plate. <laughs> wait, wait. You don't go to restaurants with pickle plates? What's a, I've never had a pickle. Pl- you go to like A frame, like- you get you used to get a pickle plate. A frame's been closed for so long. You go to a deli. I went to a deli in uh in what's where's Julia from? A great neck, New York. <laughs> me and Jake, me and Jake, her brother. <laughs> we just shared a pickle plate. Look, Maggie Googled pickle plate. Oh, just a plate full of pickle. Plate full of pickles. Well, but they have like random pickles. It's like a charcuterie board without the meat or the cheese. Which I don't need because I'm there for the pickles. Um I, I do like that. Green olives, sharp white cheese. That is a grilled cheese with a point of view, and that's what I love about it. Mm, that's really she that's like a beautiful green way apples. To say it. Be like, meh, but I mean, this person, I, I've never heard of that combination before. Nice. And I love that she has, she knows what she wants and she's going out there to get it. Good for you, girl. I was really into the fact that you said point of view of this person. Yeah. And I'm going to start using that and I'm just going to sprinkle it in and you're not going to expect it, but it's going to happen. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a charcuterie board with a point of view. I like yeah. it. I like, I like it. it. Hey, Josh and Nicole, this is Callahan. Um, for my birthday, my family and I are going to 
a like hot pot. I live in like around Kansas City and we just got our first, you know, Korean Ooh. hot pot place. It's called K-Pot. And um, at least I think it's Korean. And this isn't really opinion, but uh, what should I get? I've heard you guys talk about it before and I've never done it before. And, you know, the parents are paying. So <laughs> I'm going to get whatever you guys say. So thanks. Okay, so hot you pot refers start. to a lot of different things, right? That's right. Um, there are, there's like, you go to a Japanese restaurant, they're likely calling it shabu shabu. Or sukiyaki. Or sukiyaki, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Um, all the hot pot that I've had is mostly Chinese, also like the uh, chi- ethnically Chinese Singaporean family. Okay. Uh, my ex was related to, we used to go to their house for hot pot all the time. Cool. Um, my favorite spot is a, God, is it from Shanghai? Heidi Lao. Yeah. It's but really it's popular. a Chinese chain that is open in Los Angeles. Megan, you a big fan? Yeah. Dude, Heidi Lao is some of the best I like it too. To. I've been once or twice. It's and good. I've had Korean hot pot before which if you conceptualize it, it's Korean barbecue, except you dip it in soup instead of grilling it. Mm. But I kind of love it because you get all the Korean banchan with it. So you get oh, like the, the spinach with the sesame. Sick. You get the fish cake. You get the kimchi. And that's the one thing I really miss from Chinese hot pot mm-hmm. is all the cold pickled vegetables to cut through the meat. As far as what to actually order, though, um, beef. You right. got to do beef. Beef on beef yeah. on beef. Underrated. Uh, it's fun to get a lot of different shrimp balls if they have it. Any mm-hmm. sort of like fish cake fish tofu always get fish cake if you're going to a korean spot where you have to cook your own food yeah the fish cake is what makes it that beautiful unique flavor that is specifically korean food 100 percent. fish cake is one of my favorite things yeah. uh make sure if they have it on the menu just get some sort of green especially if it's a green that you've never heard of yeah like ya choy yeah, yeah like like uh yu choy there's something called a-, a choy that <laughs> yeah. i just really love yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like chinese broccoli um, really super fun stuff. Uh, I love mushrooms and hot pot. I do love mushrooms and hot pot. That's a big thing. But again, the, the menus are probably going to differ. If I had to guess, this Korean spot's going to be very focused on the meat uh, because they probably, if I if I levity another guess, this place might even own a Korean barbecue spot that's like really popular. Close by. Exactly. No, for real. And so <laughs> they'll have the sort of supply line so you'll be yeah. like, well, we can open up a hot pot space yeah. next door. Um, so they're probably getting a lot of the same products. But to me... As it, Korean barbecue and with hot pot, you're going there for the beef. For sure. Other for things sure. are fun. You get some pork belly, let it sit in the broth for a long, yeah, long time. I'm That's not cool. A babe. Eh. But I mean, get uh, like the thin sliced brisket is one of my favorite Brisket's things. Brisket's always good. Love beef tongue if they have it on the menu. Yeah. Beef what's, belly. Uh, what's the other one? It's like not very striated. It's more of like a lean. It's uh, a lean one that's like, sh- like super thin. It's not brisket. What are you talking about? Sure, no, no, sure. Maybe I'm just not thinking of it correctly. You got kind of different cuts than me. It's okay. Bottom round, top round. Maybe, oh, top round, top round maybe. Round, maybe it's top round. Top round, I could get. But um, <laughs> okay, Adam Sandler. Um, <laughs> I echo everything Josh says, and also happy birthday. I hope happy this birthday, gets yeah. to you when it is your birthday or almost your birthday, so you have time to plan. If not, well, you got another happy situation coming up. I'm sure of it. Call us, uh, call us back and tell us what you. Yeah, ordered. let us know. Even if, even if you went before you actually heard this yeah. podcast, which is a definite possibility. But call us back, tell tell us what you ordered and how your experience was. Because yeah. um, I think Heidi Lau is probably the restaurant that I've been to most in the last six months. That's incredible for hot pot. It's I can't go more than once a year because of the Sichuan that I get. Oh, like the chili the oil? mala, the mala. Yeah, so you yeah. can get four different soup bases, which is fun to dip in. But I'm no longer allowed, and it's for my own safety to get the spicy oil it'll mala ru- base. It'll ruin your night because I was a little litty, and um, and I kept dipping really absorbent stuff you in can't. the spicy chili oil. You can't put mushrooms it's in only there. Only for the meat. You can't put only noodles for the meat. in there. Can't put tofu in there. No, no, don't. And so I'm having the time of my life drinking a beer <laughs> tower, right? Uh, and, and I'm just sucking this down. It tastes so good. And then the next day, I was absolutely ruined, but it was because of my own hubris. Yeah. And Julia does not trust me to order it again. And frankly, she's probably right. But you get the spicy pork, you get the mushroom broth, you get the, to- they have tom yum broth. That's what I get. I get, oh, I get so the good. mushroom, the tom yum. I do clear and mala. You, you cook, That's what I do. You cook the freaking, the fish, the they, the, the sliced fish that they have. It's I like never got my favorite thing on the menu. Do you I've get the never fish got... next time? I will. Or you get the seafood sampler plate. You get the fish, you get shrimp, you get calamari. I said calamaz uh, if it's at the Olive Garden. I'll just get the fish. I'll just get the uh, fish. If you can't tell, we're hungry. I, I am, am so hungry. I, am. I had we'll sushi from Bristol Farms. Was it good? For lunch. No, it was wet. Uh, Whole Foods. I'm saying Whole Foods makes good sushi. The Bristol hey, Farms hey. sushi I had was <sighs> sopping wet. Where'd the wetness come from? I don't know. You just spritzed it down I with some Windex? I don't know. Well, on that note... <laughs> Thank you for listening to A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. If you want to hear more from us here in the Mythical Kitchen, we got new episodes for you every Wednesday. If you want to be featured on Opinions by Casseroles, you can hit us up on Twitter at Mythical Chef or Henny's Audit, or you can call us at 833-DOGPOD1. Once again, that's 833-DOGPOD1. 
Josh? Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, what? Did you want to say anything more? We'll see you next time. Yeah, Thanks for I guess. listening. If thank you, don't, you for if watching. You don't come back, no, yeah, thank you. No, no, thank you for supporting yeah, us. Yeah. Thanks for being yourself. Yeah. If you're, if you're not being true to yourself right now, why no. not? Why not? You no. know, just think about that. Next yeah. Time. You yeah. know, it's all because it comes from in here. Yeah. Because here's the thing why would you be any, well, like, why would you want to be like anybody Maggie, else? Please cut. When you Maggie, are cut. yourself. Wait, there's only one of you. Josh. So why try and be like anyone? Cut it. There's only, what's that saying? Cut it.